Hey guys, MDG here. I just picked up a new battery grip for my Canon T4i camera. I went ahead and picked up an aftermarket battery grip. You know, I didn't pick up the Canon battery grip because that runs around $150, $160. This battery grip, I spent about $28 for it when it shipped. You know, it's from China. It's made by a company called Mikey, M-E-I-K-E. After looking at all the comparisons online, I just couldn't justify spending $150 on a Canon battery grip when this one looked identical and looked like it did exactly the same thing. So I could take that extra $120 and put it towards a pancake lens. That's probably gonna be my next lens to pick up because I, I hear so many good things about that 40 millimeter pancake lens. So I'm gonna have to try that out. Like I said, I went with this aftermarket one by Mikey and it's $28 ship. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. It's got the features on it, effectively doubles your shooting time. Got a vertical firing release, a AA cartridge which holds eight AA batteries. Says it significantly improves stability. That's pretty much it. Professional manufacturers, made in China. So, you know, hopefully we got something good here and it's not gonna fall apart on us, but it's just a battery grip, so how bad could it be? It says for Canon 550D, which is the T3i, but when I picked it up, the specification said it will work on the T4i, so we're going to give it a shot. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have, and then we'll go ahead and put it on the T4i. First off, we have the battery cartridge. Looks like it holds six AA batteries, and on the box it says holds eight AA batteries. I mean, am I missing something here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know, maybe there's another piece in there, but I don't see it. That's consistent with pretty much China labeling on their boxes. I mean, they got it kind of right. Six, eight, what's the difference, right? A little extra power, a few more photos. So anyways, it's got a little cover on the connection here, a little plastic cover, so I guess it didn't get banged up in shipping. Put that off to the side. We got right here, we have the little Mikey product guarantee card. Most of it's in Chinese. All right, continuing on, we have inside some more paperwork, which which I'm sure this is instructions on how to put it together. You know, Chinese, uh, Russian, some other language, another language I can't understand, another language, I don't know if they even have English. Spanish, uh, Brazilian, Guatemalan, uh, Cyborg, Zombie, C++, Klingon, Dog, Cat, EVP. Oh, here we go, English. Attaching to the camera. Remove the battery from the camera, installing the battery pack, blah, 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 using a household, blah, 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 figure it out, right? All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see, there's the battery grip. Let's take it out. That's got a nice little weight to it, you know, feels pretty good. Doesn't Definitely doesn't feel too cheap. It's got a nice feel to it. I have to say that. I wasn't expecting it to feel so sturdy. Mikey. MK550D, made in China. Got to put that on there, made in China. Can't even scratch it off. It's got a clip so you can clip on camera strap. And it's got your wheel to lock it in. It's got a little cover on your connection, which this is going to go into your battery spot there. So it's got an on-off switch here. You know, it's got your AV button. It's got your zoom in, zoom out. It's got your shutter button. It's got your little clicky wheel. It's not as clicky as a T4i, but it's nice. It'll do. It's got your tripod mount in the bottom. Like I said, it looks pretty good so far. You know, open it up. You gotta pop this little thing out like this, twist it and pull it out. And this is your battery cartridge, so you can put two T4i battery packs in here and stick them in, or you can use your eight, <clears throat> your six AA cartridge, pop that in there. So I like the idea of using double A's because you're not gonna run out of power. You know, if you ever run out of battery power, you just throw some more double A's in there and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and pop some double A's in there and see how well that works. Because I only have one battery for a Canon, so you got two, four, six, you need eight AA bat. oh, wait, you need six AA batteries, so let's go ahead and put these in real quick, pop these in. Alright, the batteries went in pretty well, they held pretty nice, they held pretty solid, and they clicked into place, it wasn't, it's not a very cheap feeling, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. For $28, not too bad, let's see how it holds up. Let's pop this pack in there, I'm going to pull this clip out, turn the clip and push it in. Now let's go ahead and put this onto the T4i. Okay, so I got my T4i here, and what you wanna do is pop open your battery door and remove your battery. It's not like if you had two battery packs, I only have one, but you would put one right here, and then you put one right there. Seems to sit really well in there. It seems to be built pretty well, so 
I only have one battery pack for now. Just throw some rechargeables in here and I'll be all right. You'll take your battery door and open it up. It was meant to be removed, so all you want to do is just pretty much just turn like that. It comes right out. You don't break it. It's got some little pins that holds it in there nicely, but you just pop it right out and you're good. So now you want to take the connection part, obviously, you know, it's all only going to go in one way. I mean, you're not going to try to put it in this way, so, you know, I can't go in that way. You just take it, pop it in here, like that, push it all the way up. This connects using the tripod mount, so you want to just turn this lock here till it connects. And there you go, the battery grips now put on there. You know, it feels pretty well, it feels really good. It adds some nice weight to the T4i, makes it look a little better. The color on it pretty much looks the same. I can't really see a difference. Yeah, the color of the battery grip matches the body of the camera real well. I mean, I'll see in time if the battery grip color wears out or not. Right now, the color matches real well. You hold it vertical for vertical shooting. Let's go ahead and test out the functions on this battery grip and see if they work. So you got your on off switch here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the T4 on real quick. You had a little light right here that flashed with the powers on and it powered up. And you got some juice here, you got some power. So you got your on off switch here. If you switch it to off, your buttons on your battery grip won't work. So you can press them all you want and your wheel won't do anything. You only use the main camera functions right here. This stuff won't work if this switch is switched off. What you wanna do, you wanna switch that on. Let's go ahead and test the shutter out. Seems to work. It's on a long shutter because I was, I was doing some tripod work. Let's just pump that shutter up real fast. All your buttons seem to work here. It's a nice little battery grip. Add some nice little weight to the Canon T4i. Pop a lens on this bad boy real quick. Not a big fan of that touch shutter right there. So here is with another lens on it. Put my telephoto lens on it. Definitely added some good weight to this. It's a bit heavier now. You know you got a good support right here. So got a nice little platform to hold it on. You know it's a little better. It holds it up a bit. So I got my hand right here, my finger just supporting the lens. So I kind of like this. You can pretty much hold it like this and adjust your focus and everything. Hold it this way, test the shutter sideways. Yeah, it's working real well. Shutter button works, all your buttons work here. I'm pretty happy with this right here. I like it. I think I made a good decision. I saved about $130. It works real well. I can't complain. It definitely works. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. You got your battery grip, six double A's. Says eight double A's, but hold six double A's. Got a nice firm grip on here. Adds some extra weight. You know, I have to say, definitely a lot more comfortable holding the T4i vertically now than it is holding it the right side up. I mean, this is the new grip just makes it real comfortable. So, you know, I might have to shoot like this a bunch. If you take a lot of portraits, vertical shots, then. I definitely recommend picking up a battery grip. You know, if you want to go ahead and spend $140, $50, $60 on the Canon battery grip, well, that's all you. That's your thing. I want to put the money onto a new lens, so I picked up the $28 Mikey battery grip, Meke, Miki, whatever it's called. It's made in China. It's third-party aftermarket. I found it on Amazon. It was $28. It ranged, but $28 was the cheapest I found. Shipping took a little while, but, you know, it finally made it to me, and... I'm ready to go. If you're going to take a lot of footage, a lot of video with your T4i, and you only have one battery pack, then I recommend getting a battery grip. You'll extend the time greatly that you have the film because you can just swap out the batteries and continue on going because, you know, you're going to get a lot less video than you are photos. And, you know, the battery on the T4i takes, what, like 500, 550 photos. So, I mean, it's not really the longest battery anyways. I don't know how long the six double A's are going to last, but... Like I said, you could just get some rechargeables and just keep recharging and popping them in. You know, it'll pay for itself over time. So, like I said, you guys might want to definitely check this out. And I know there's a bunch of other companies that make these aftermarket ones, but this one looks just like the Canon one that I saw online. Everything looks identical. The color on it's real good. The grip feels nice. The grip feels just like the stock grip. I mean, it's real nice. It's definitely worth checking out. You guys should definitely check it out. If you guys have any questions on this, leave them in the comments section down below or hit me up. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be popping out a lot more videos. I want to thank you guys for watching. See you later.